Hello everyone and welcome to Travel the Globe, the channel for travel connoisseurs, explorers and for those with an act for adventure. From the urban regions of Seoul and Busan, which are home to some of the most stunning museums and historical places in all of Asia, to the mountains and beaches in the south of the country, these are the top 10 South Korean travel sites you will never want to leave once you're there. Tune in until the end of the video for our number one pick is the most ideal spot for those who don't wish to blow their budget on their next South Korean travel escapade. Let's get started! Starting off with number 10, Bukchon Hanok Village. One of South Korea's most stunning and tranquil locations is Bukchon Hanok Village. It is simple to understand why so many people adore this location with its traditional Korean architecture and stunning mountain villas. Stroll through the community and take in all the sights and sounds of this amazing location. You won't be sorry. For number 9, Busan. Busan is a must-see for any traveler because of its beaches, mountains, and temples. The largest and most well-known beach in Korea, Hyundai, as well as the Jakalchi Fish Market, where you may sample fresh seafood specialties, should not be missed. Visit Byeomyosa Temple or Haidong Yongusa Temple for a more cultural experience. Of course, visiting the Gamcheon Cultural Village, a vibrant neighborhood of houses carved out of a mountain, is a must-do on any vacation to Busan. Number 8 is Jeju Island Jeju Island, which is located off the coast of the mainland, is a paradise all to itself. It's no surprise that this location is frequently referred to as the Hawaii of Korea, Given its pleasant climate, sandy beaches, and lush vegetation, you can make the ideal trip even better by including the fact that Jeju is home to some of the best cuisine in the nation. Number 7. Seoul South Korea's capital and largest city, Seoul, with a population of more than 10 million. The city is home to some of the most well-known tourist destinations such as Insadong, Bokchon Hanok Village, and Gyeongbokgung Palace. Seoul is the ideal location if you're seeking somewhere to shop, eat, and take in the sights. Number 6 is Nami Island The stunning half-moon-shaped island of Nami is situated in South Korea's northwest. With several hiking routes and photo ops, it's a terrific area to explore the outdoors. Deer, bunnies, and squirrels are just a few of the main species that call the island home. You might even see a Korean black bear if you're lucky. Buses run from Incheon International Airport to Nami Island. Depending on the traffic, it could take anywhere from 45 minutes to 2 hours. The entrance cost to Nami Island is 3,000 Korean won or around $2 US. Visitors should be aware of this. From awe-inspiring sights to locations of your favorite K-dramas, South Korea is truly the place to be in 2022. Which K-drama location are you most excited to visit soon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the like button. This will help support the channel and will boost the video to other travel enthusiasts. And now, back to our list. Number 5 is Seoraksan National Park One of the most stunning locations in the entire country of South Korea is Seoraksan National Park. It is understandable why this location is so well-liked by tourists given the presence of towering mountains, virgin woods, and crystal-clear rivers. But the wildlife at Seoraksa National Park is much more unique. Rare creatures like the red-crowned crane and the Asian black bear can be found here. For number 4, Jongyu Jongyu's plethora of historical sites has earned it the moniker The Museum Without Walls. The city thrived for a thousand years as the capital of the Silla Kingdom, one of Korea's three major kingdoms. Today, you can still find traces of its past everywhere you go, from the Bulguksa Temple, which is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, to the exquisite tombs scattered around Tumuli Park. Number 3. Sokcho Beach one of South Korea's most picturesque locations is Sokcho Beach. It is no surprise that this beach is among the best in the nation given the crystal clear water and soft white sand there. Don't pass up the opportunity to unwind and enjoy the sun at Sokcho Beach. Bring your loved ones, family, or friends for a day to remember. Number 2 is Insa Dong 
take a stroll through Insadong if you ever get lost in Seoul's busy streets. It's easy to experience traditional Korean culture on this charming tiny street, which is lined with authentic Korean stores and eateries. Additionally, the street is home to some of the top art galleries in the city, making it possible for you to see both traditional and contemporary Korean art in one location. And our number one South Korean travel destination, Chongyecheon Stream. One of the most visited locations in Seoul, both by locals and visitors, is this man-made stream. Over 11 kilometers long, it is a fantastic spot for a stroll, a picnic, or simply to unwind. There are numerous historical sites in the area. You can stop and appreciate this stream at a number of different locations during its route through Seoul. Historical sites along its banks to tiny bridges that allow you to briefly escape bustling city life. There are many activities and sites to see in this area. The juxtaposition of the bright lights of the urban cities and the wondrous historical temples and nature spots solidifies South Korea's mark as a complete travel package. Perfect for anyone who wishes to experience a little of everything for their next travel getaway. Did we miss anything? Which South Korean travel destination do you think should be on this list? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications by hitting that bell icon. Looking for more travel ideas? Check out our other videos for more Travel the Globe treats. Until next time!